Yo, what's going on guys? This is the Death Smasher, and today I'm back again with part 3 of the Beginner's Guide. Now, I kind of had this planned out for like a couple of weeks ago, but I never really got around to uploading it, and uh, believe it or not, this is my third attempt in trying to remake this video, because my first attempt, it was outdated. Second one, my new mic fucked up the audio, so I had to readjust it. And now, here we are. Today, I'm going to be explaining how to farm orbs faster on this game, so that way you can get the most use out of one when, when it comes to summoning for new characters, characters you want, etc, etc. So, we're gonna start off with the most es with the most essential part, the characters. So, as you guys know, you do get orbs for when you complete a character to a certain level. So, we're gonna start off directly with the lower star characters. One star characters, when they're at level 40, you you get five orbs from them. And they can be acquired throughout the story mode. Two star characters, when completed at level 50, you can basically get yourself 10 orbs. And, and there are a lot of them from the story mode, so there's a bunch of resources for that, so don't worry. Three star characters. They can be both obtained from the story mode and even lottery events and can be acquired from summoning and these are the most common bastards out there right now. And completing their levels at level 60, you will get 25 orbs, which is enough for a single. 4 star characters, they are acquired from summoning, get, getting lottery events done and doing sub stories. And getting them at level 70, you get 35 orbs. So it's a little bit more than a single, but still good enough. Now, as for 5 star characters, completing the character at level 100 will make you 50 orbs. Two singles. And then 6 star characters, you get 75 orbs from getting the character's levels to level 150. And for the upcoming characters that will receive the resurrection update, like, for example, my Ukiyora and Yoruichi that I'm working on right now. Well, same thing. Level 7... Uh, excuse me. Same thing. 75 orbs. Because they're essentially new 6-star characters with updated stats. So yeah, if you happen to pull a 5-star uh, character that is brand new, you're not just getting 50 orbs from them, you're getting, the, getting around 125 orbs from them if you do the math. And if you... And if you get, like, I don't know, let's say the first five OG characters, which is either Bankai Ichigo, OG Aizen, OG Yoruichi, OG Okiora, or OG Mayuri, you're getting 200 orbs from them. Which is almost a multi, just eight singles. So yeah, there's a lot where that comes from. But for but for the OG units, you need to when you resurrect the character, you need to rework on everything. It's like six star characters, but the character level resets, the um, fodder, the fodder you the the fodder meter resets, everything resets. So yeah, that's it for characters. Uh, next thing is uh, events. So when you start off the game, there's a shit ton of events that you can use to grind. Like we have the uh, like we have the Urahara's training grounds which you can get crystal, jewels, and yeah. Basically completing all of them, they give you 60 orbs from doing that. Jewels, same thing, but the droplets you're going to get only actually no, you get the same, same amount just by completing everything. And of course, we have raids which are the biggest events that give out a shit ton of orbs. Okay, so basically getting a 5-star raid done will get you 65 orbs, because you, you also get the 5-star character that you need to get to level 100. They can't be evolved to 6-star, but you can still get 50 orbs off of the raid characters, which is always nice. 4-star characters, you get a little less orbs, but it's still a good amount. 35 orbs from a 4-star character, plus 10 orbs from the actual raid missions. And it's actually damn good. Because this game gives out a lot of ways to grind orbs. And then we got the, um... Frenzy events? Which, uh, they always change every single month. Right now we have a Frenzy Zyla which is ending soon. 
and from the and of course you can get yourself a free uh, 125 orbs off of this character plus orbs from the um, limited orders and the orbs from the actual frenzy event itself and the only way to power up this Mayuri really nigga is it's simple just to collect these crystals and you can do it both in single player and co-op and of course we have the the uh, usual um, casual lottery events that they dish out almost every week and they give out a four star character and sometimes the chapters they can either be uh, multiple chapters but only have uh, one difficulty mission or they can just be a couple of chapters and have uh, three multiple difficulty missions and sometimes a little bit on the intermediate level where we have a good medium of chapters and only two difficulty levels but either way you're still gonna get a lot of warps from this from these uh, lottery events and of course um, this well it's kind of the same thing but it's a bit more harder for you guys and of course uh, drop now this one is also kind of important the six star intensive course the six star intensive course while the course itself will give you a shit ton of warps for characters you have not completed they also give out fodder material which you can use to augment your six stars and get orbs out of these free characters which is really damn good. So if you don't have any one of these characters, the six star intense, of course, is just the way to go because you you can basically max out orbs from fodder characters way easier than having to do the uh, five star raids for beginners. Because trust me, when I was a noob, I had a hard time with five star raids, but now not as much. And then we have co-op. Now every beginner that starts playing this game right now if you meet up with players that are new to you online in co-op you get three orbs off of one person three times three times three equals nine and you can farm up to 600 orbs which is enough for two multis and a couple of singles but it's still good for when you start off However, once those 600 orbs are done and farmed, you can't get any more and you will have to wait until either New Year's resets or the next anniversary for Bleach to come. Right now, we're, we're pretty much in the time zone of after the third anniversary. So we are going to be essentially getting the orbs reset by the time it'll be New Year's. That's a fact, because Caleb always does this. And then uh, the other, and then this kind of other thing is also optional. If you kind of suck at PvP, yeah, I know, I'm not. Don't ask me why I'm in the relegation zone for third seat. I really only got to third seat for extreme co-op, but that's just about it. Now, for uh, new players, you guys can also do this too, if you can get enough good amount of medals from PvP. So, basically, here... You can basically exchange the medals you obtain for 5 star and 4 star characters. And you can get yourself a lot of orbs from these characters. And these metal exchange 5 star characters, while they have really shit stats but have good soul traits, you can actually evolve them to 6 star. And you can basically get yourself free orbs off of them. But because they're free to play units, uh, you're gonna need uh, 5 Hogyokus and 5 Hogyokus wills. So uh, yeah. Getting them done will be a little bit tougher if you don't have the ex the evolution material, but but it's fine because throughout time when you do the orders you can get the stuff. And then sometimes, occasionally, if you do your guild quests, you are randomly uh, rewarded with some orbs. But it's completely random because rewards they can sometimes give you editing brushes, rainbow link slot potions, shitty coins that you don't need, like why? Sometimes orbs, sometimes Hogyokus, sometimes Hogyokus will, like I said, it's completely random. And I had one time where I actually got around 37 orbs off of a guild quest. And it was very, very random. Sometimes even weekly orders, I'm given around 60 orbs, but like I said, it's completely random. So, yeah, you guys should still do your guild quests if you're in a guild. But for me personally, it's just something that is that is random. Okay, 
So we have other ways of farming orbs that I completely forgot about. And it's also one of the most essential parts of farming orbs as well. We also have the story mode. And there is a lot of the story mode because uh, the story mode starts off from part one of uh, when the Bleach anime begins and... What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Uh so yeah, it starts off directly from when Ichigo meets Rukia, and it goes all the way up to the full bring arc. And not only that, but we even have a hard mode for that. So it's double the amount of orbs you gain from story mode. And we're not done here, because that because the canyon story is not what we just have on Brave Souls. We also have side stories. Basically, uh, stories from uh, from the from the anime fillers, from the movies, and whatnot. <sighs> okay, I apologize about that. Okay. Okay, so when it comes to side stories, we have the entirety of the Zanpakuto, the alternate tale arc. Oh my god! Just fucking stop! Alright guys, so I had to re-record my audio footage because x kind of fucked it up. So anyways, when it comes to side stories, we have the entire Zanpakuto, the alternate tale arc, which has three parts all together. And then of course we have the invading army arc, which is basically the arc that happened right after the final battle with Ichigo against Aizen. And of course, uh, hold on, as soon as the video gets to it. We also have the new Captain Shusuke Amagai arc, which is currently in progress. We only have part one for now, but we'll get part two soon, sometime later. I don't know when. And of course, we also have Memories of Nobody, the Diamond Dust Rebellion, and Fate to Black as story arcs into the side stories. Hellverse isn't there because they made it a lottery event. I don't know why, but they were stupid to even do that. And of course, just like the normal story mode, we have hard mode, so it's double the orbs. And that just- that doesn't end here. We have sub-stories. Okay guys, I do apologize for what just- what happened just now. Basically, um, my emulator just fucking crashed for no reason as soon as I got here. But anyways, another way of farming orbs is the sub-stories. And basically, what these are, they are basically re-released lottery and points events. They are basically live to play anytime, and and they will never go away. And what these do is that sometimes they give you a lot, a whole lot of chapters, which is a lot of orbs, and they each give you a a brand new four-star character, which is good. Because it's a way of getting orbs from that specific character. And yeah, overall these um, lottery events, some of them, they're really long. And have a lot of ways of getting orbs, some of them are short. And uh, yeah, basically a whole load of ways to farm orbs. So yeah. When you guys have the time and don't have any more events to do, I recommend getting the sub-stories done. And then the last bit of way to get orbs is the Senkaimon quests. But the Senkaimon quests, they require you to have really a really good box of characters. And uh, overall, yeah, because uh, this, uh, this, uh, this set of quests they were made specifically for veteran players that have a huge collection of six star characters and have a, a and have a decent amount of good five star accessories with good secondary effects to use on these floors because they are really hard quests that not just anyone can beat it. Heck, I'm still having a lot of troubles trying to unlock the extra floor on floor 50. Well, because I need a green no affiliation character, and I don't have either Shuren or Dark Rukia, neither one of them. So yeah, basically this is ba if you basically if you don't have a, a, a specific unit, you're kind of fucked. 
Okay, so that, that about wraps it up for today's part of the beginner's guide. Next time, we will be tackling on how to build your characters, how to make a nice PvP team, and, uh, yeah. But before, before that, tomorrow is Kenpachi's banner. And of course, we're gonna get the, the, uh, five characters being resurrected. So, do expect a video from me of trying to resurrect either Ukyora or Yorichi. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.